Stocks selling off amid Friday's dismal jobs report and the S&P 500 still remains well into the red for the year. But will stocks stage a comeback? Simon Meyerhofer is the founder of iSpy ETF and joins me now on set. And Simon, welcome. It's good to see you. Nice to be here. So what's your reaction to the jobs report this morning? Of course, stocks selling off about 0.8% drop is what we saw on the S&P 500. Of course, this also puts the Federal Reserve in a tough spot as it's looking for an opening to hike short-term interest rates. Well, it's always, with jobs numbers, you never quite know what you're going to get and how the stock market reacts. But overall, I'd like to see new lows and um, the S&P being down and hope maybe continuing to going down might be set up a good buying opportunity. And we also just had Goldman Sachs lower their S&P 500 forecast earlier this week to 2,000 from a previously forecasted 2,100. What do you think? Where's the S&P 500 going for the rest of the year? Well, that's a good question. Based on a whole number of indicators, mainly looking at sentiment and seasonality and um, past patterns, especially after kind of like the panic sell-off in, in August, which we certainly had. Um, my guess is we'll end up the year somewhere around 2000, maybe 2100. And of course, Goldman also thinks for 2016, that broad index will go to 2100. What's your outlook for even into 2016? 2016, early 2016, I think should still be good. Um, I don't have a strong opinion yet about later in 2016. All right, and from a technical perspective, let's throw up a chart of stocks in 2015 versus 2011. There you see it. Uh, of course, 2011 was the last time we saw a correction before the one we saw back in August of mm -hmm. this year. What does this chart tell us? Well, the chart is really interesting. I came up with the correlation between 11 and 15 back in June when I did some research on the VIX. And I found some abnormalities about the VIX that we didn't see until last in 2011. So I plotted them against each other and uh, it just made a lot of sense. And based on my dashboard of indicators, if I had to draw a graph of what's next for 2015, it would have looked like the chart of 2011. And that's kind of what has played out. And I think it will continue to play out to the extent that we'll see another low below the August panic low at 1867 and then a recovery in the fourth quarter. All right, so bring all of this back to the average investor. Of course, we may get to 2000 by the end of the year, but of course, it's certainly going to be a volatile ride until then, right? Yeah, there will be volatility. Um, often investors are stuck in a position where they will sell at the worst time. So if you do things getting worse, maybe next week or in two weeks, don't panic sell. Wait until things come back up. All right, Simon, we'll leave it there. Simon Meyerhofer from iSpy ETF. Thanks very much for coming in. Thanks for having me. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.